Hello, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday and earlier this week I spent some time yesterday getting ahead of the game so I am on track. So if you haven't joined me for meal planning before, I usually like to plan my meals on Wednesday. On Thursday I write my grocery list and then on Friday I go to the grocery store. So I like to break it out because um, all of those things together is a whole lot but if you just do a little bit at a time, it doesn't take much time at all. So I actually planned my meals last night in the car while I was at my son's soccer practice. I brought my computer with me and I was like, okay, let's see, what can I do to get ahead while I'm sitting here watching practice? So um, I was able to do that, so that was good. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And um, very easy how I plan my meals for this week is um, I start with my meal plan template. I actually visit my own website and I pulled up last week's meal plan and I popped it open and then I add um, the dates. We have our first soccer tournament that, for the season this weekend. Um, so I add the dates, what we have going on so that I'll know um, how much time we have. There was one day, oh, I uh, chose an instant pot meatloaf. And so don't be fooled when you see an instant pot recipe thinking like, oh, instant pot, it's gonna be ready in an instant because it's not. So the um, Instant Pot Meatloaf, while it is very nice to be able to throw everything in the Instant Pot, it takes it a little while to, um, to build up the pressure to start the cooking process. And then this recipe, I hadn't looked at it in, um, it takes 30 minutes to cook. And it's amazing because you put everything, you put the carrots, the potatoes, the meatloaf, all in one pot, set it, but I didn't feel comfortable um, well, I mean, I did end up leaving my house. I went and dropped my son off, and then I came home, and my husband was home, so I felt comfortable leaving, but I wouldn't normally leave, like, the Instant Pot on. Um, the Crock Pot, yeah, that can stay on. Um, I probably wouldn't leave the house with the oven on. So it's important to look at those things and see, like, oh, if I'm going to have to be doing soccer practice, I'm not going to have time to cook that because it's going to take 30 minutes to cook, plus the time it takes to build the pressure, plus the time it takes to depressurize. So... Um, make sure that you're looking at those things as you're planning your meals. So um, we'll be coming back from out of town on Sunday, so I made it easy on myself. I could pick, I kind of went back and forth, I could pick something really simple like a salmon to cook with the asparagus. You just pop that in the oven, that's pretty easy. But I figured, you know what, we're going to be tired. We'll just pick something up either on the way home, order something in on Sunday. Um, for dinner, and I'm starting with dinners, but let's start at the top. So at the top, I always have my Shakeology with my spinach and my half a banana, so that gets filled in for every day. My meal two, I pick two for the week. So this week I chose eggs with spinach and gluten-free toast, and then for the teaspoon I'll do um, um, some butter. And then the second one, I think I just left on there, the breakfast sausage with the asparagus and the oatmeal. So I'll just alternate those for the week. So something that's a little bit of variety, but enough to where you can buy the same things and not have to buy too many ingredients. Um, my third meal, my lunch, I picked two of those for the week and I have a ton of chickpeas in my pantry. So I was like, I better go ahead and get the chickpea salad bowl going. So um, that is a recipe you can find on my website. And then I'm alternating that with the Asian noodle bowl, which was actually on the meal plan for this week, but I haven't gotten around to eating it yet. So um, I'll just save those ingredients and then have them this week. So then I alternated those. Um, I left on here the cucumbers, berries, and coconut yogurt for my snack. And then um, I switched out the second one and I made um, I chose pickled okra, cashews, and an apple. So I'll alternate those for the week. And then I'll, prob I'll probably switch out and do the pickled okra, cashews, and apple for the tournament. I don't know. Maybe I'll make some yogurt parfaits. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows what happens? But I have those options there to be able to switch out. So then from there, we plan the dinners. Like I said, Sunday we'll eat out on Monday. Um, I had the red beans and rice with turkey sausage on my meal plan, but I didn't end up making it this week because um, my husband had requested it and he didn't end up eating dinner with us for some of the nights. So um, I'm going to move that to Monday. Um, he also requested, I kept telling him, I was like, I know you requested something else. I can't think of what it was. He's like, no, I don't think I did. And then um, I was scrolling through something and I saw chicken. I was like, ah, it was chicken. Um, barbecue chicken, so simple to make. Um, I just take chicken breast and put some barbecue sauce on top of it 
and put it in the oven for like 45 minutes to an hour um, with green beans and some potatoes. And then um, the third thing I picked for this week was the taco salad that's also on my website because um, my son was asking for tacos, so I'll make him tacos and then I'll just have the taco salad. And then I left the Thursday night as a leftover night, and then Friday and Saturday is when we usually eat out. So that is our meal plan for this week. Again, like I said, it took me like 10 minutes to make it. I actually went to the, um, so when you purchase, I have the four week up protocol meal plan cards for sale. I didn't have them with me while I was in my car. But whenever you purchase the meal plan cards, you also get a PDF that has a list of all of the different recipes. So I use that to um, look for ideas and pull things over as well. So if you have questions about meal planning, let me know and I'm happy to help. Have a great week.